Hey, hello, everybody. Tell you what, I just uh, a little bit of news in my area from just yesterday. Just yesterday. Well, yesterday morning around 5:30, 6 o'clock in Ohio, and just over the over the state line, there was an accident. And uh, what happened was there was this lady. Oh, that bright rear brake feels good. Lady was on Interstate 680, and uh, she hit a bag. She was in the uh, oh, the far left lane was, and she hit this big bag, and she didn't know what it was. She pulled over. She, she stopped the car and got out to find out what it was and pull it out. It was a for understand it was a pretty good size, like a garbage bag, large garbage bag size. Well, it was between her, the, well, whenever she got out, of course, she's, she's right against the center median barrier, concrete barrier, and uh, there's this car that came up behind her, swerved to the left to miss her car, hit her, the car fit between her, the, her car and the barrier. Hit her, flipped her up over the barrier. So she got hit. Then whenever she flipped in flipped over the barrier, she hit the oncoming lanes. And then a guy hit her on, on oncoming lanes. Well, that guy didn't ever stop. So, I guess the police, the police over there, state police and local, are looking for any information from this guy. I mean, I'm just telling you, that, I mean, this world is on a hell in a handbasket. I mean, I, for the most part, I've actually quit watching the news because it gets me so irritated. That lady just happened to be pregnant. So instead of just losing one life, there was two lives lost. But man, it was like... I just hate watching the news anymore. Whenever it comes down to watching about the what's going on with the Ebola, bringing people into the states and everything, I'm like, Ugh. then you got people that like happen down in Texas. It's like there, there's ways to get around that, but the people 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 might not like it. But I mean, you gotta preserve. The living, the, the the healthy first, so they can help out the sick. You know, keep the bull virus out of the states best we can. Basically, stop all flights from coming in. And any flights, give them give them a time period. Say okay, and any flight that comes in during this time period, you're going into a 20 a 21 day or whatever quarantine. Like it or not. I mean, that's my thoughts on it. I mean, yeah, I'm getting into the political aspect, but I mean, I don't really care right now. I mean, this, this this crap is all right. BS. Oh, video I just made yesterday. How to change that rotor? No, I didn't really flip it. But it's not the same sequence for changing it. Heck. That rat, that rat brake feels beautiful, beautiful. Makes me want, makes me wish I had done it earlier. Saved myself some pads. But hey, life goes on. Life goes on.
Yeah, like I said, I think the world's going to hell in a handbasket, and I think our government like just likes to help it out. I mean, whoever's freaking running our goddamn country needs their heads examined for one thing. Update on that my sickness. Actually, I feel pretty darn good. I do. I do snore in my sleep, which has made the uh, throat a little bit raw. That's okay. I mean, I know. I know what's causing that. I'm just not being sick. You know, it's it just like an after effect. I went through a lot while I was sick. Got at least one, got another day's worth of medication to go. But we uh, we'll finish that up, and we'll, I think we'll be just be just just fine. Yeah, it's fine. Got the polar bear challenge coming up here in a few months. Ooh, can't wait, can't wait. I will miss the summer though. If you look real close, you can see the leaves turning. Yeah, they're turning. They're turning colors. See, don't, don't, don't you just love that color? <laughs> oh jeez. Oh look, the leaves are turning colors. Look at that. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. I forget who it was mentioned uh, that their leaves start turning color turning in August. I'm like, well, if I if my if I see the colors turning in August, uh I need to get off the bottle or admit myself in a psych ward unit or something. It don't happen around here. Maybe one thing I'm about to go. Man, I, I know other bikes probably do just as well too. Man, whenever I take the butt, the, ass, the ass end up off the ground on this thing, do any work? She sits high for a while. It's gonna take some getting used to. Hey, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I didn't even speed. Oh yeah, puppy out going potty. Now I gotta go really slower, a lot slower than I normally would. Because I noticed that when I ride my tire on the wheel off, that my uh, rear tire is actually down, getting into the tread bars. Yeah, and it looks like. My plants are just going to have to hold off anyway. For at least a month. Because, I mean, it's just, it, it, blame it on Google Shoot. By all rights, I should have had it, but... Boy, they got wonderful timing. Even though, uh, it's going by their timing to start with. Um, for what is it? 20% uh, rain into for another couple hours, an hour or two. That's supposed to go down to nothing. No percent rain. Then, in around 1:32 o'clock, they're talking possibly jump back up 30%, and around three. They're talking, they're saying something like 90% uh, thunderstorm and plus thunderstorms and all that. And I'm like, oh, that's fun and games, ain't it? Fun and games. Well, this was a bike signing out. I hope you guys all stay safe, be well. Have a great day. Great day.